Hello. In this session, we are going to look at the different types of uh, EC2 instance uh, that we have. So when gen generally, whenever we are launching our EC2 instances, EC2 provides us with uh, different different types of uh, instance types. Now, simply these instance types are your CPU, your memory, your networking capacity that you can choose from. So depending on your requirement, depending on your use case or the application that you're running, uh, you know, depending on your application requirement as to how much of CPU you want or how much of memory you want, you can choose that accordingly by making use of this uh, EC2 instance types. So in this particular session, we will look at what are the different types uh, we have and then, you know, under that, what are the different uh, subcategories we have, we will look at that. Once again, before we start off with the session, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So Amazon EC2 service, it simply provides us with a wide range of uh, instance types that we have. And all these are optimized for different different use cases. So depending on the application or depending on the use case that you have, these instance types have been optimized and you can choose them uh, depending on your requirement. So these instance type, they simply comprise of a varying combination. So it has a combination of the CPU, memory, storage, and the networking capacity. So all of this together, we call it as your instance types. And this gives us the flexibility to choose from the most appropriate mix of resources for the applications that we are going to run. So again, depending on the application that you're going to run, you can choose the CPU, the memory, the storage, the networking capacity as a combination, and then you can uh, launch your EC2 machine and then deploy your applications on them. So each instance type, it includes one or more instance sizes, and this allows us to scale the resources to the requirements of the target workload. So, you know, uh, under these instance types, we have different, different options that you can choose from. So you can scale up, you can uh, uh, choose whatever the capacity you want based on the requirement of the workloads that you have. So these can be categorized or they can be further divided into six types. So we have the general purpose, we have compute optimized, we have memory optimized, we have storage optimized, we have accelerated computing, and then we have your HPC optimized. So here, whenever we are launching our EC2 instances, here you get to choose that. So the CPU capacity you want, the memory capacity you want, you can choose from here. So this is basically all the uh, instance types that we have all right so the, the all these are categorized into these six types that we have so let's look at each of these one by one so first we're going to talk about your general purpose now the general purpose instance types this provides us with the balance of the compute basically the cpu the memory and the networking resources that can be used for a variety of workloads all right so here whenever we talk about your general purpose you'll always have a balance of your compute the CPU, the memory, as well as your networking capacity. So these instances, these are ideal for applications that use these resources in an equal proportion. All right. So when you have, when you want all of these resources and in an equal proportion, then you can go with your general purpose. And the ideal use cases for your uh, general purpose would be your web servers that you want to run or any code repositories that you want to run. In that case, we can make use of your general purpose. Now, these general purpose. So here, this is the page where you can find more information about this. Now, under general purpose, these are again categorized as these types. So we have M7G, M7A, so on. So we have this T3, T3A, T2. So here, if you look at your instances, you can clearly see this is t2.micro so this falls under your general purpose category so likewise you have t2.nano which gives you one cpu core and 0.5 gb uh, ram then t2.micro which gives you one cpu core one gb ram t2.small which gives you one cpu core two gb ram so depending on your requirement depending on how much of cpu you want how much of memory you want you can choose accordingly and then launch the instances and the aws will allocate that resources for the ec2 instances that we have launched so under this you will you should be able to find different different options so these are all the options that we have under your general purpose the next type we have is your uh, compute optimized now your compute optimized are basically the instance types that are ideal for compute bound of application so basically any application that needs high performance processors or you know the compound uh, compound bound applications where you need more processing capacity 
then you can go with your compute optimized so instances belonging to this category are well suited for batch processing workloads or any media transcoding high performance web servers high performance computing any dedicated gaming servers or any machine learning applications or any compute intensive applications that you want to deploy you can deploy that on the compute optimized so any application that needs more processing power then you can go with your compute optimized so again under the compute optimized these are the options you have so you have c4 c5 a c5 n c5 and then so on so here if you look at uh, the options you should be able to see that so let me search for c family and so let's say c4 and here you can see so c4 dot large gives you two cpu core uh, 3.75 gb of uh, uh, ram capacity c4.4 x large gives you 16 cpu core and 30 gb ram uh, c4.8 x large gives you 36 cpu core 60 gb ram and then so on so again depending on the capacity you can choose uh, how much you want depending on the applications that you are going to run the next step we have is your memory optimized so these are the instance types uh, which are designed to deliver fast performance for workloads to process large data sets in memory so if you if you have any uh, heavy database heavy applications which needs to process very huge amount of data in the memory then you can go with the memory optimized so these are ideal for memory intensive workloads such as your open source databases or any in memory cache databases or any real time big data analytics for those applications you can go with your memory optimized so again under the memory optimized these are the options you have so let's say for example we will look for r4 so if you search for the r4 it will show you the capacity that it has so let me search for r4 over here and uh, you will see this is the capacity so you get with your r4 dot large you get two cpu cores 15.3 gb ram r4 dot 16 x large you get 64 cpu cores 488 gb of ram capacity and then so on so these are ideal for any application that needs to process huge amount of data in the memory itself the next we have is your accelerated computing so accelerated computing instances are basically the instance type which uses the hardware accelerators or any coprocessors which performs the functions for you such as any uh, floating point number calculations or any graphics processing or any data pattern matching for that you can go with your accelerated computing so these are ideal for your machine learning applications uh, high performance computing or any uh, computational finance or any seismic analysis applications speech recognition applications or any autonomous vehicles for that we can make use of your accelerated computing where you need to perform different different types of functions all right so again if you go to the instance types you should be able to see the accelerated computing and these are the options that you can see so let's say if i look for p4 so here let me search for p4 i should be able to see the capacity so under p4 this is the only option we have which gives me 96 cpu cores and 1152 gb of ram capacity so that's like you know you need very huge amount of capacity then you can go with your accelerated computing the next option we have is your storage optimized so these storage optimized are basically the instance types which are designed for workloads that needs high sequential read and write access so basically processing large amount of data on the local storage itself all right so if you want to process very large amount of data on your local storage then you can go with your storage optimized so they are optimized to deliver tens of thousands of low latency random io uh, operation so iops basically so iops it stands for input output operations per second so if you want um, iops performance then you can go with your storage optimized so these are ideal for your uh, intense uh, input output intensive applications and these are targeted for customers using the transactional databases or amazon's open search service or any real-time analytics such as using the apache spark 
then you can go with your storage optimized. So once again, uh, when you need to process large amount of data on the local storage, then you can go with the storage optimized where it gives you the input output uh, operations per second that you need. So here you can, if you go to the storage optimized, these are the options you, you will get. So let's say if I search for D2 over here, I should be able to see the different options that are available for me. So these are the options we have. So we have um, D2.8x large, which gives me 36 CPU cores, 244 GB RAM, uh, D2.2x large, which gives me 8 CPU core and then 61 GB RAM. Then I have D2.4x large, which gives me 16 CPU cores, 122 GB RAM and then so on. And the last option that we have under this is your HPC optimized. Now HPC, it stands for High Performance Computing instance types and these are built for the best price performance for running your HPC workloads at scale on the AWS platform. So this again provides you with high performing computing capacity. So again these are ideal uh, where you need high performance such as your any large complex simulations that you want to run or any deep learning workloads that you want to run then you can go with your HPC optimized instance types so under this you get options like uh, so the three options is what you get so hpc 7g 6id and then 6a so let's say i will search for hpc over here and this is what you will see so 16 cpu core 128 gb ram 32 cpu core 128 gb ram 64 cpu core 128 gb ram all right now if you can see this is grayed out because the ami that i have selected does not support this so again your ami also matters uh, which ami you have selected for this instance types to uh, choose from all right so these are the different different types of uh, instance types that we have now under the free tire you can select only one which is the uh, t2.micro so you have to basically make sure you're using this free tire eligible so that you don't pay any money if you choose any other options you'll have to pay money and here you can see the cost how much you are going to pay per hour so whenever you're launching the instances don't make any changes if you're using your own personal account generally at an organization level general purpose is what uh, is very commonly used and under that depending on your application that you're running you will be choosing the different different instance types so that's basically the different different instance types that we have for your ec2 instances that's all for this session thank you once again, before you leave, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.